welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Anna and today I have a new seller's haul for you guys and you guys I am so excited about this week's haul because I was finally able to get everything on the table that I got from Denver this year now as you guys know I actually haven't physically gone to one of the gem shows Tucson or Denver but I do have a wholesaler that does live sales directly from the gem shows so I was able to pick up some absolutely astonishing items for you guys but I do want you guys to be aware a lot of these items are high quality items things on the more rare side so this probably will be one of the more pricier live sales if you guys don't know unfortunately a lot of the gem shows are a lot more expensive than what I typically buy from some of my wholesalers and a lot of these things are going to be on the more rare side and you guys know I don't use rare loosely a lot of times people just throw the word rare around just so you can buy their crystals I'm not one of those shops I don't like to call everything rare because it really isn't but there are some things that are rare so there will be some some rare items out on the table which I am so excited about a lot of the items aren't even in the view because there's so much of it so I am gonna move the camera around because I do unfortunately have just a smaller table and obviously the camera just can't get it all so I will be moving the camera around to show you guys the full scope so let's get started because I am so excited to show you guys what is out on the table So starting over on our left side and I will be letting you guys know the names of all these items because I know some of them are spelled a little differently so I will be posting the spelling as well and also where these items are from so you guys will get kind of like a brief history on all these little items a lot of these again are new to the shop some things that I haven't had before some things that I have had but higher quality so I will just list all of the items because some of them do have some tricky spelling just in case if you guys wanted to do your own research on the materials and get to know them better so the first thing I have off to the left side in these little bags baggies are halite opals and these come from Mexico and under a UV light they do shine green so I would like to demonstrate for you guys I know it might be hard to tell I just don't want to take these out of the bags because they're already packaged up for all of their weights but do you guys see that gorgeous fluorescent green shining through now not all pieces will have fully green UV reaction but a lot of the pieces do and I just thought these were so cool it is kind of harder finding some uv reactive items so typically you don't actually see a lot of uv reactive items so when i do find them here and there i love to get them in because because again it's just something that's not super common but when you do find it it is really cool then moving over to the right i did get some ethiopian opals but this time around i did get them out of water so if anyone was interested in opals that don't have to be submerged in water i was able to snag up a few and you guys look at how jaw dropping these are they are absolutely stunning some of them range in this deep blue color like you see here in the middle and you guys I am absolutely obsessed I got these for a really good price as well so you guys will get them for really good prices I am just absolutely obsessed with these and I remember when I did the ones in water a lot of you guys wanted ones that didn't have to be held in water so these are them and then if you are someone that does wire wrapping or jewelry a lot of these are smaller so they could potentially be like pendants earrings rings something really fun if you're super creative then the next item that I got are absolutely gorgeous and more more on the rare side when it comes to higher quality pieces so I did get some gorgeous Danbrite for you guys Danbrite was actually first found in Connecticut here in the US but eventually over time they found more deposits in a lot of other countries these specific ones are from Mexico and you guys they are absolutely stunning so I do have some lower quality options but I also have some higher quality options and the ones with the pinker hue are more rare you don't see the ones with the pinker hues as much as you see the pale kind of clear and white ones and you guys I am absolutely obsessed the one thing I can compare these two is kind of when you see high quality tourmalines like you know how it just has gorgeous like transparency and glassiness this is exactly that and oh 
They are just absolutely jaw dropping. And there even are a few pieces that have some gorgeous rainbows on them. So this is something, again, another crystal that I never heard of until I saw it at the gem show. And I just, oh my God, you guys, it's one of those where I had to have it. Also, from what I know, I don't see too many people getting it in. So I will say it is more rare to find the higher quality ones as well as I don't see too many people bring it into their shops. But you guys, once you do, oh, and when you see them worth every single penny and then i do have a few that don't have as much transparency or glossiness so they are priced a little bit more affordable because they don't have such a high quality like the higher quality ones but you got either way they're both absolutely amazing quality and if you haven't had damn bright in your collection i would highly recommend adding a piece in then the next couple items that i have are some smaller items so now moving over to our right side i do have some smaller more rare items as well as higher quality items i was able to finally get some petrocyte if you guys don't know when petrocyte first hit the market it was so crazy expensive i mean it's still pretty pricey but it's not as bad as it used to be and i know a lot of you guys wanted a few pieces so i did get a lot of gorgeous heart options for you guys and then i have two cube options and then one little tumble again these are kind of harder to find you don't find really big pieces of them and when they did first hit the market they were super expensive but the hype has kind of died down a little bit so they have become more affordable so i was able to get a couple pieces then the next thing again on the more rare side are these absolutely stunning fire agates so this is not something very common and again on the pricier side but how gorgeous are these these are also from mexico you guys oh my goodness they are so beautiful i got some from my personal collection a while back and i did preview them and so many of you guys reached out and said that you wanted some pieces so i was able to find them for a really good price when the light does hit these they have such a gorgeous fiery flash from like yellows to greens to oranges to reds really beautiful so i'm super excited about those because i know a few of you guys really have been interested in fire agates then the next thing i got and you guys i am so excited about these are these jaw dropping high quality pyrites from peru i have had some carvings before some towers some spheres from peru but honestly, it's been such a long time since I've had them. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've never had such high quality pyrite clusters before. You guys, they are absolutely jaw dropping. And once you see high quality pyrite, you absolutely understand why it is called fool's gold because you guys, oh my goodness the shimmer the sparkle a lot of them also have some galena in them some of them also have some quartz inclusions and you guys i honestly cannot talk these up enough when i unwrap these my jaw drops like look at how absolutely stunning these are and so many of them have a gorgeous cubic formation and i was able to get a mix so i have some clusters and then i have some that just have some large cubes and then this white right here is some quartz inclusions you guys it's even having a hard time focusing because they are so big and such high quality but i honestly cannot stop staring at these how absolutely i just i have no words there's no words to describe how beautiful these high quality pieces are and again i just want you guys to be mindful they are high quality so they will be pretty pricey right okay. low quality pyrite usually goes for a good affordable price these high quality pieces are going to be on the more expensive side probably some of the more expensive pyrite that i have ever had in my shop but you guys when i tell you they are worth every penny they are worth every penny like trust me if you get a piece and when you actually see it in person oh my god you guys your jaws are going to drop now as we make our way over as you guys can tell again the table is packed and we just have so many beautiful options so i know these have kind of been showing throughout the video and i think some of you guys can tell what they are i did get some more of those absolutely stunning 
pink highlights from California. So I did get some more smaller options. And then I finally was able to get my hands on some bigger statement pieces. I will say that these highlights, I feel like since they've premiered, I want to say about, what is it, two years ago or something now, they have just kept growing in popularity. I feel like no one can have enough. And I remember when I did have the smaller ones, a lot of you guys reached out and wanted some bigger clusters. So you guys, I got some gorgeous big clusters for you guys. I do only have six pieces i have a lot more of the smaller pieces but you guys these big pieces are absolutely insane they are so gorgeous such a beautiful hue of pink also there's a lot of peachy pinks there's a lot of kind of baby pinks that i'm absolutely obsessed with a lot of these will be in the baby pink range and let me tell you when i first laid my eyes on them i wasn't too impressed but then i got my first piece completely opposite story it's one of those things where you're kind of on the fence about it but then when you get it oh my goodness is it gorgeous and these are local to the united states these do come from california then the next thing over you guys i am super excited about these i don't know if you guys can tell they are super shiny super sparkly do you guys know what this crystal is oh you guys they are drop dead gorgeous. These are beautiful vanadonite from Morocco. When I tell you that this table is international, it is international. I try to get varieties of crystals from everywhere and oh, you guys, these do not disappoint. This, this is the first time that I've ever had these in my shop and you guys, I am absolutely obsessed. They come in this gorgeous fiery red colors and a lot of oranges to red. So kind of like an open fire, like a flame, those type of colors. And of course the sugar drooziness on them. You guys, I am absolutely obsessed. They are on the more pricier side. Also, they are on the more fragile side. So I will say when you do open these, it is typical to get some fallout. Even when I was opening these and when I was pricing them, there was a little bit of fallout from them. But again, that is just natural to the crystal. And of course, when I wrap them up, I will do my best to wrap them as well as possible so they unfortunately get as little damage as possible they are one of those crystals that are super fragile so you do have to be careful when packing them even when handling them even when i was just picking them up to price them there was a little bit of fallout so i just want you guys to be mindful but oh you guys worth again every single penny these are so stunning when the vendor in denver was walking around and showing these it took everything in my power to not buy up at least <laughs> 10 flats of these, to be absolutely honest with you guys. But again, I didn't know what the demand would be, so I didn't want to get too much. But you guys, if any of you are fans of Druzies, especially sugar Druzies, let me tell you when I tell you that is the crystal for you. Then the next thing we have out on the table are these absolutely stunning desert rose clusters. So not something I'm familiar with is a polished version of them, but how freaking cool are these, you guys? We usually know desert rose to have a clumpier kind of exterior, which would be on one side of these, which is the typical and what you normally see. But this year, the supplier had them half polished and you guys add to cart they are so beautiful i didn't even realize how gorgeous they were on the inside such an aesthetic such a gorgeous natural color on these and to be honest i love both sides and i really like that you can display these both ways so either your very typical standard desert rose size or you can display it on the half polished side which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And again, you just see all that detailing in there, that gorgeous flash. Oh, you guys, they're so good. So I did get a few, a whole flat of them. So we will have a good amount of options. And I'm pretty sure just from afar, a lot of you guys can tell what these next couple items are. I was able to pick up some copper items. So again, copper is very much something common that a lot of people who have crystal collections also add in copper here and there. So I was able to finally get some copper. This is a first for my shop. I've had some copper included clusters before, and that was a very, very long time ago, but I've never had 
had just copper, like copper flakes, spheres, anything like that before, but I was able to get some at Denver for you guys. So we will have some mini sphere options, some bigger spheres, as well as copper bricks. You guys, I was obsessed with these when I saw these. How stinking cute are these? These are one ounce copper bricks and they do have their like chemical unit and compound on here, which I thought was just so cool. And of course these are from the US. So we will have some sphere options as well as some gorgeous copper bricks. Again, just something new, something fun. And I do like these bigger ones and you guys, they have such a weight to them. But if any of you guys have been waiting for copper, I finally was able to get some for you guys. Then the next thing we have out on the table, I don't know if you guys can tell, but can you guys tell what these are? I am super excited about these. These are Tiffany stones. Yes, guys, Tiffany stones found here again in the United States. Not rare to find, but super pricey, as well as it's recently been mined out. So they are finding, trying to see if they can find more deposits of them. There are some vendors that have, well, there in particular is one or two vendors that still have some raw material left. Um, and they are trying to find more people to mine it, uh, but they are looking for more deposits of it. So this is why Tiffany Stone is on the more pricier side. And again, not something you commonly see because of supply and demand there is a lot of demand for it but it is hard to mine and it is very hard to find and when they do find deposits they find very little of it so these are why they are on the more pricier side so I do have some tumble options some like little chip bag options and then I was able to get some more kind of tumbled free form options for you as well now again they are going to be on the more affordable side but also kind of pricier for tumbles so just an fyi but that is because they are on the more rare side as when it comes to mining them it is more difficult to find and there is not a lot of that material out there but i was able to finally get my hands on some tumbles so again more expensive than what i usually price tumbles at but also it is harder to find and it is kind of scarce. So just an FYI, that is why the prices on those will be kind of larger than what you typically would buy tumbles for. Then the last and final thing, I don't know if it's something I'm gonna branch into, but I thought these were absolutely amazing when I saw them at the Denver Gem Show. This is something that I've never kind of dabbled with. I have had some fossilized crystals, but I've never had like actual fossils from like prehistoric animals but i was able to get some megalodon teeth now if you guys don't know megalodon are extinct they were around the time of dinosaurs it was a massive shark and there are a lot of teeth and fossilized teeth that obviously over the years were left behind here in the states these specific ones were found here in the united states and again they are on the more rare side these are not infused with any resin anything to protect it these are natural fossilized megalodon teeth now again these are something pricier because they are fossilized but how cool. Now I know this is not gonna be of interest to everyone. Uh, maybe there aren't a lot of people who are interested. Maybe there might be just a couple of you guys, but I decided, you know what? Let me pick these up. These are something that I haven't had in the shop before. Something really cool, something different. So yeah, we'll see how you guys like them. If you really do like them, I think I can possibly get some more from the Tucson show, but I don't wanna 100% guarantee because these are one of those things because this is an extinct shark, there's only so much more out there. Um, so again, once those all get found and sold, that will probably be it. But how cool is it to have a tooth from something that was like around the dinosaur ages, you guys? I geeked out about that. I thought that was so cool. So if any of you guys are into fossils or into shark and shark teeth, that is definitely a collector's piece you want to have. Also, just speaking of resale value, again, once these are all found and sold off, they're not going to exist anymore. So you will probably only see these in museums going forward. So if you can get your hands on one, get your hands on one. Because I'm telling you, once they're all 
sold out, mined out, found. That is it, you guys. So yeah, definitely try to get your hands on one. Um, again, they are pricier, but again, that also is because they are more scarce and rare. So thank you guys so much for watching. That is all that I have for this week's haul. There is a lot of amazing items out on the table. Things from everywhere around the globe crystals from everywhere around the world. I really hope you guys enjoyed this seller's haul because honestly, I had so much fun picking a lot of these items out. Again, a lot of these things are new and a first for me. A lot of these will probably be a first for you guys. But again, I do want you to be mindful. They are gonna be on the pricier side, some of these items. Not typical of what you see, but again, these are from Denver. Denver is a lot more expensive when you do go to these gem shows. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you are available, the live sale will be over on my Instagram at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So two hours after this video post, if you guys were interested. Um, if not, the remainder of the items will be posted to my website either that same night or the next morning. Probably check back Saturday morning afternoon is when I'll have these posted to the website. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you can join me, definitely join because this is one of those live sales that Number one, I am extremely excited about, but also we have some gorgeous rare options. So once they go, I probably won't be able to get my hands on a lot of these things until the Denver Jump Show, either again next year or possibly Tucson. Cause again, it depends where the vendor takes me at the shows. But thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely join if you can, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.